everyone, I'm Amanda Martinez. My name is Carlos Vargas, and today we're going to be talking to you about our 20 times spa in a box. Okay, so uh, just taking a drive through downtown Houston will reveal the large uh, population of homeless people that we shelter. Um, I'm a big Rockets fan, so I go to a lot of games, and passing the Toyota Center, there's a big overpass uh, where lots of homeless people live and sleep and live out their daily lives. So this was one of the reasons that I wanted to pursue this project. It really inspired me uh, to think about how we could create a solution to this problem. The reason I wanted to do this project was because ever since I was little, I would drive around um, town and I would see homeless people and I always thought there should be more that I could do than just give them a dollar. Also, my mom and my grandma have gone through homelessness themselves and they were only going through it for like a month, but they just told me how hard it was and how hard they have to struggle, and I thought maybe I should be able to do something to make others not struggle as much as they had to. Um, so we created Spawn a Box. Uh, basically what it is, is it has necessary tools and resources that'll help uh, the basic person to carry out their lives. Um, it has things like toothbrushes, toothpaste, um, that we collected donations for. Um, so as she was saying, Spawn the Box, we, we basically just put like toothbrush, toothpaste, there's like mosquito spray in here and like wet ones because they have to clean themselves and like we were able to get these donations because we asked our parents to set up donations at their workplaces but that didn't really work because no one was donating and it took my mom a while to actually set up the donation bin so it took a while to get some donations and then we were going to set up donations around the school but we saw that another group tried doing this, but no one was really donating to their project, so we decided <laughs> not to actually do that. So eventually we just kept reminding people that if they had any donations that they would like to donate to us, we would take it off their hands for them. For example, like Caroline's mom, she had, she had a bunch of soaps and stuff that she got from like hotels, and she like donated to us, and we put some of those items inside of these boxes. Um, so after collecting uh, almost all of our donations, we started to separate them into all of our different boxes that we made. Uh, this was difficult because we received more items than others. So like, for example, we would receive more like soaps and like toothpaste than like blankets or like mosquito sprays. So separating them evenly among the boxes was difficult, but we tried the best we could uh, trying to uh, have every box have the same amount of items. Uh, during this, it was around Easter time, so we thought it would be fun just for us and for the people that receive them to decorate the boxes. Uh, we just put like, we glued paint, or we glued paper, we painted them, um, just to make it more festive. There was real no, there was, wasn't really a point to it other than just to boost morale. Um, so as we were decorating these boxes, we were also donating them. Um, our original plan was to donate up to 50 boxes, but that didn't go as planned because we only donated about 17. Um, the main reason was the main reason for this was because we didn't really get a lot of donations so at times it'd be harder to make boxes if you weren't getting a good amount of donations so then it'd be harder to donate the boxes and also some some homeless people whenever we would donate they wouldn't accept the boxes they just wanted money instead so it was kind of hard to give boxes if they didn't want them and then also our parents were very like unsure about where to let us go at the time because homeless people are, are like usually around unsafe areas so they didn't want us to go to unsafe places to donate these boxes. Um, so is our project over? The answer is no. Because we wanted to donate so many boxes that's what we're going to continue to do. Uh, we were only able to donate a limited amount of boxes but we still have boxes that are left over so we're planning to donate those. Uh, we're planning to carry uh, two to three boxes in our cars for whenever we see people like while we're driving around. Uh, Carlos and I also plan to go to like the local food bank and go donate boxes maybe like on Sundays when most people are there or like during the weekend. Um, overall, we still have a long ways to go with this project. I'm excited to continue it. Um, so this project has taught me a lot of things, but the main thing it taught me was that you should always help others no matter what because this homeless people, they can be just any kind of people. Like for example, one of the homeless people we met was a Vietnam vet. And it was just crazy to me seeing that that someone like him who like helped our country out was homeless even though he's done so much for us and i'm always going to try my best to help out others whenever they need it because i don't know what they're going through at the time or when they're going to need someone there when they need it the most um personally i learned uh that i take everything for granted in my life like the house
house that I live in and the car that I drive and uh, the food that I eat and like there's so many people like in our local community that don't have any of these things and they have to somehow manage to survive. Uh, so I'm making a promise to myself to always find a way to donate to people in need and to be mindful of other people's sacrifices. Thank, Thank you. you.